Hey guys, so this week is all about food, one of my favorite passions in the world. And this year, I want to be a foodie. Um, I don't know what that entails, but I assume it means I take a lot of pictures of meals that I eat, and that I cook a lot, and that I, um, could tell somebody what foie gras means, or how to pronounce it. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, today we're supposed to be vlogging about what our favorite snack is. And it doesn't matter what it is, I enjoy salty, I enjoy sweet, I enjoy savory things, I enjoy everything, and that is part of the reason why I'm a big girl. But I would say my go-to favorite snack is always like a good piece of chocolate, maybe with a little bit of peanut butter up in there, like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Did I hear you? You in the back? You? You like them too? Chocolate always hits the spot. And I don't mean that sexually, but I kind of do mean that sexually. Hey guys, so this week on The 7 Love Bunnies, we are going to be cooking you a little something special. So let's check out what's in the pantry. <sighs> There's nothing to eat. I have not been shopping in weeks, so we are going to make some sort of concoction out of items that I have found in the kitchen. So let's get started. But first... <laughs> Step one, make some popcorn. Make a wave dance, make a wave dance. Titty shake, titty shake, titty shake, titty shake. Every time you hear that pop, take a drink. My friend once gave me a card that said, I love cooking with wine. I even put it in the food sometimes. <laughs> Foodie humor. Oh, this is not a good start. Oh, I'm gonna set off the fire alarm. Step two would be get another bag of popcorn out, but since that was your one and only bag, and that was going to be the basis for the delicious snack that we were going to make, um, then you're going to have to settle upon something else, and I have chosen some crackers. So first you'll need a bowl, and you'll need your crackers. Need more crackers than that because you were eating them while you were filming this. And we're going to be combining a little bit of cream cheese, some milk chocolate, Hershey Kisses things, ch chocolate chips, and some peanut butter. And we're just going to mix that all together and then uh, put it in the microwave and then see if it tastes good. And then we're going to eat it with some crackers. It's all combined. Doesn't that look good? Mm. Now we're just waiting for that to cook. I'm going to add just a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract just because I feel like it and it makes this seem like it's a lot more difficult than it is. Ooh, fancy! I had to bust out some measuring spoons for this. And now we're stirring it and it looks like diarrhea. It's chunky too. And now to create that symphony of flavors, we are going to dip our cracker into this chocolate sauce, which this cracker enjoys some chocolate if you know what I mean. So now to try it. Close up on my face. Mmm! You guys, this is no joke. This is actually really good. I forget how I made it, but I just kind of put stuff in a bowl and threw some vanilla extract in there. one minute speed question, we are telling you whether we would want to be a fruit or a vegetable. And clearly, I am a fruit. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> but seriously, I would think if I was a fruit of some sort, and it would definitely be a fruit, I would never be a vegetable because they're bitter and, well, maybe I would be a vegetable then. But anyway, I prefer fruits. They're nice and sugary and sweet. And I think specifically I would be a pineapple because they've got kind of like that rough exterior and like kind of bad skin like I do and on the inside they're very sweet even though they give off kind of a mean persona sometimes that they like to like joke at other people's expenses and very demanding and yeah that rough exterior but hiding that delicious yellow bellied inside or that's this is such a stupid description I'm going into 
Anyway, pineapple. Done. That's all I got, so I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!